Hi, this is Bob Staples for Christians for Science. Perhaps you've watched our other videos related to our effort, and you want to know what you can do. That's a good question. What can you do? Well, we all could take action on this issue. And I want to present a few ideas for you at this time. Before I do that, though, I'd like to read a passage from God's holy word. In 1 Peter chapter 3, beginning in verse 15, the apostle tells his audience, But sanctify in your hearts Christ as Lord, being ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you a reason concerning the hope that is in you, yet with meekness and fear. My friend, the Bible teaches that Jesus is the central focus of the scripture account, and that Jesus came into this world to seek and save those that are lost, to give mankind hope, to give mankind hope not just here, but hereafter. We're familiar with that passage, John 3, 16. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. My friend, you could learn about Christ. You could learn about his amazing history in the gospel accounts. You could see in the book of Acts how individuals came to God in obedience through the gospel. They heard about Christ. They believed that Jesus is who he claimed to be. They were willing to repent, that is, change their life, turn their course, and turn toward God. They were willing to confess before others that Jesus certainly is the Christ, the Son of the living God. And yes, my friend, just like Jesus was baptized, these people were baptized for the forgiveness of their sins, where they contacted that precious blood. You can read about it in the book of Acts. And then you learn in the other parts of the New Testament things for the Christian to do. And this passage in 1 Peter 3 is one of those. My friend, evolution and creation cannot both be true at the same time. Theistic evolution is not a solution. It's a creation of more confusion. What can you do? What can we do is we could follow Peter's admonition here to be able to give an answer, to give an account, to give a defense of this hope that I just talked to you about. And we can do this. Here are some things. First, take a few minutes and, and watch the other videos. If you have not, not watched the video on the overview, please do that. It will not take much of your time. Visit our website. That is www.christiansforscience.com. That's the word Christians, the number four, science.com. At that website, you could see an educational apparatus for you to be informed what's happening in uh, this uh, effort in Christians for Science. I'd like to encourage you to, to go to the button called Top 5 Key Documents. And if you will go to that, you will see some very important things uh, that will help you. Number one, we have taken out of the... Uh, framework document that you could learn about in the other video and we have a brochure on what is going to be taught our people. Also we have uh, written this in a bigger format. Also we took the entire language of the uh, National Research Council and we have answered it sentence by sentence, point by point. And we have tried to do what Peter is asking us to do, to make a defense. And my friend, evolution's being pushed into new science. And you have an opportunity to do something about it. And you can. One thing you could do is to give your feedback to those that are operating the um, Next Generation Science Standards final document. Those people are uh, from an institution called Achieve, which is a curriculum writing institution in Washington, D.C. The head person over that institution in this effort is Dr. Stephen Pruitt. Now it's important to note Dr. Pruitt also was the science coordinator for the state of Georgia. And he was there in 2006 when evolution was inserted in the standards in the state of Georgia. My friend, 
He's now running the show in a multi-26 state effort. You need to know that. So you can give your feedback on the new science standards. The uh, achieved individuals want your feedback. We are now in mid-November, and the final document will be made in January of 2013. There will be one more public feedback period. It will be three weeks, and it will open up in the next few weeks. So there's not a lot of time. If you want us to uh, announce to you or to inform you when that time opens up, you can uh, email us by contacting us through our website and uh, send us an email message. We'll add you to our list. The last period, we provided feedback to the public through links on our website. One link we had was written directions on how to give feedback, and uh, you could download that and use that in, in uh, your feedback process. Or two, what you can do is you can um, watch a video. We made a video taking you through a step-by-step -step process of how to give feedback. Many people used that video, and they said the video and the directions were very helpful. So I encourage you to do that. Let me end by simply saying this. This document, Next Generation Science Standards, is going to have a profound influence in the next generation. It's the last in many attempts to try to improve education. That's a good thing. But presenting Darwinian evolution as a unifying thing is a bad thing. It's destructive to knowledge. It's contrary to science. And um, many people are unaware of what's happening. Won't you become aware of what is happening? Let me end, you, let me end by giving you a couple facts. When the framework document was prepared, that's this document, a, a survey was given to people in the educational community. About 2,000 surveys were studied. There was a very small group of people concerned about evolution. And that's a shame, but remember, it was written to the, the educational community. In May, during the three-week period, based upon my phone call with Dr. Jennifer Childress at Achieve, there were over 8,500 pieces of input brought to bear from the public on the next generation science standard and many were about the concern of evolution. My friend, people's voice were heard in May. We need your voice to be heard now in November when the next feedback period opens up. So won't you educate yourself about this, be aware of what's happening, learn about it and be ready and make your feedback when the time is given and tell others to do so as well. May God bless us and may God help us to do what Peter is asking the Christian church to do. And that is to live in the hope of Christ, the greatest hope for mankind. Life may here, but life also everlasting. And won't you do you, your part as a citizen of this world and of Christ's kingdom to base your life upon the bedrock of scripture and be able to give a defense of those things that are important to the Christian as he journeys in this life. Certainly, the promotion of Darwinian evolution or humanism should be a concern to the Christian. And you have a great opportunity to do that at this time. Let's not squander it. Let's not minimize it. Let's take action and let's do it today. Thank you, my friend, and may God bless you.